Oh, welcome back to my blog update, second part, and uh, I'd like to take the opportunity to tell a bit more about my project. Last time I told you about how I ended up here in America, and today I will tell you a bit about what I'm trying to achieve in my year as a research fellow at the Mayo Clinic. And the topic I'm working on is extra gaming for the elderly. And so extra gaming is gaming with your body. It's like people do it with the Wii, and nowadays also with the Xbox Kinect or with the PlayStation Move. And basically, you play a game by making movements with your body, instead of having just a controller where you only use your fingers. And for example, uh, to play tennis you just press A or B. Now you play tennis by moving your body and like you're swinging a racket. So it's actually engaging your body. And that's good because that's physical activity. Um, many people look into the opportunity, how you can use this kind of new development to have people more active. And many people look at, for example, children with obesity. But also people are looking at if we can help uh, the elderly population to be more active with this kind of, uh, kind of technology. So actually getting for the elderly, uh, multiple people, multiple groups have been looking at this opportunity and what you see is that there are two types of research nowadays. There's research in more like a laboratory setting, however you can show in a laboratory setting that it works but will it also work for them in the, like, the real world? Will elderly people be able to buy this and then actually do it by themselves? Um, and that's a big question. So that's what we're trying to research in the study. How do we motivate older people to start using it, to continue using it over a longer period of time? So where are we at this moment? Well, we got the IRB approval a few weeks ago and we are now starting to recruit participants. Uh, the Hill Lab is located in the Charter House, which is a brilliant opportunity to attract people because there are 300 people living independently in this house and we would like them to participate. So this blog's upside insight into America from a perspective of a foreigner. Um, it was interesting, my parents were visiting me and they did the great tour towards the Yellowstone Park and back to Worcester again. And afterwards I asked them what was the, the greatest you know, experience that they had, what most, made the most impact to them. And of course the nature was great, but what they said, and I noticed that myself as well, is uh, the inequality in America and it's such a diversity in income and also in health status. And, it's interesting because I'm from the Netherlands, we are a much smaller country and um, well, we have a system in place where there's much less uh, income variety, less much variety in all these different levels of, of, of quality of life and it's very interesting to see that and how that has been growing. So that's the update of this week. Um, I hope to speak to you next time with more insight into America and Mayo and an update on my research. I hope we'll have many participants participating by that time. See you next time.